Hi there, welcome to Chemistry 3007. Um, approximate wave functions. Chemistry 3007 at the University of Western Australia. Right, in the previous lectures we talked about the anti-symmetrizer, its properties, and we worked out matrix elements between a one electron and two electron operators. You can see where this is heading. We're trying to work out an expression for the Hartree-Fock energy the energy of the determinant of orbitals. And we need that energy because we are going to use, heads up, the variational theorem to calculate that energy. And we're going to, uh, because of the variational theorem, we know that the best wave function we can get is the one that minimizes this variational energy. So if we can get an expression in terms of the matrix elements of H for this energy, we can minimize it with respect to the shape of these orbitals to get the optimum molecular orbitals. We can get the optimum single uh, determinant wave function, which will serve as a good approximation to the molecular system. So you'll recognize that the terms on the right, right hand side, on the bottom we have the overlap here, which we worked out. And uh, if we use orthonormal orbitals, uh, this overlap here will be one. That's fantastic. So we can get rid of that. And on the top here, we have one electron and two electron operators. And we've worked out the energy expression for those things. So we've got everything we need to work out this energy expression. Pretty cool, huh? Well, that's all I wanted to say. We've done all the work to work out the expressions for the energies here in terms of orbitals and matrix elements. See you later.